Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're going to start by removing these four T25 bolts here and at the end. To get the front bumper off, you can see that these plastic brackets are attached under here. You want to start by removing these uh, T25 bolts from the bottom. And next, we're going to remove the um, T25 bolts that are located inside the fender well here. And there's also one way down here, a third one at the bottom here. And we're going to do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Take off those three bolts on the inner fender well, the T25. Depending on which model you have, you may have these bumpers uh, on your fender that go over the seam. If you need to take off your front bumper, you are going to want to peel this back. It is double-sided taped on there. And if you intend on keeping it, you, can, you may or may not have to apply more double-sided tape to this to get it to stick back. You can just let it hang here until you, you're ready to reapply. There is also a bolt facing down right here that you're going to have to get is a T25 as well. Uh, when you need to remove the front bumper itself, there is a guide along the back of this bumper. So you're gonna to wanna to apply some pressure forward to get it out of the guide, and then it's all gonna come straight out. Uh, to finish removing the front bumper after you get the side guides out, you're gonna to wanna to pull forward. You may need a second person to assist in evenly pushing the front bumper out. In. If your vehicle is equipped with uh, fog lights, you want to grab this, simply twist, and pop it out. And do the same on the other side. When you're removing this front bumper, there are a lot of clips on the inside directly in the center. And when you're pulling out where it does involve a lot of force in a second person to pull the bumper outward to actually get these to disengage. To place the bumper back in, you're gonna to wanna to have yourself and a helper first tilt the bottom down or up and Place the initial clips back in the correct spots. You can leave the side off under the fender. You can leave it completely off. We just need to clip in the middle. When your bumper is still lightly connected by the center and the side is still disconnected, you're going to take your fog light bulb, place it in here, and twist it back into its locked position just like that, and you do the same for the other side. To place the bumper back onto the brackets, which have clips all along the top, make it sure it's aligned underneath the headlight. And just press it back into place. There we go. To reinstall the hardware into the bumper, you just want to start with this one up here as the liner actually attaches to the other uh, screws that go into the bumper. To attach the liner back to the bumper, there's three screws. There's one here, one here, and then one on the inside right down here. If you can see that right there. Uh, same uh, situation with the hardware on the other side. There's the one up here that you're going to want to get before the skirt and then to put the liner back in, you're going to want to fold this over and then put your three T25 volts back into place. To reconnect the 
shield back up to the car. You want to make sure first when you put the bumper on that these actually slide over the skid plate and these lock into place right here and here. You want to take your hardware and just starting from one side, screw the bumper back into place. And the last step, you want to take the remainder of your T25 bolts and line up your grill on the top and screw it down. You should be all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.